Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Mm. We're still joined by our great friend Ronnie. Ronnie. Let's go Zexio. Let's go Zexio, Zexio time, baby. Know. We're, we're still in shock from uh, yeah. from the, the last round of testing. I love that. And the performance of the hybrid, Matt. So it was a game changer. That five iron is going over my knee. Goodbye. I, I'm repeating myself, but that was so fabulous. Oh, yeah. I'm good. really excited. Well, we're going to dive into the drivers mm. and um, this I... I assume this will be a much more difficult test for Zexo to, sh to show up as bright as it did in the, the previous test because your driver really is, is, is fitted and you know, we, we've done a lot with this last year to, to kind of make it perform the way that it does. Yeah. And there are some technical things with G410 with the mo movable weights, the heavier head weight. We went, it, well, this is a little bit shorter than the Zexo lens. This is really built for you. Yeah. So. I'm not sure, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how, how easy it is for the Zexio drivers to keep up. We'll be able to look at metrics. I think, no doubt, that's a really good driver for Ronnie. You've gave him enough loft, yeah. you took weight away from the shaft, uh, helps him kind of protect against the, the left side. The difference will be, can this longer, lighter total weight club give you some more pop? I know. And if that club head speed translates to ball speed, maybe the ball ends up going higher and further. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So the driver that we fitted last, last July, yeah. last summer, yeah, yeah it was. Last summer, yeah. And all the time we spent together, that probably was the biggest impact on my game. Was this yeah, last you said year. that. Yeah, you yeah. played. You drove it better than you have done in a long time. Gameplay higher, further, yeah. huge difference. I'm not driving well this year, but okay. I've only played four rounds. So yeah, yeah fair enough. Um, but the managing one's expectations. This seems mm -hmm. incredibly well suited for me, and it performed so well last year. Right. And when we're dealing with the components, one of the reasons I don't expect this to be as drastic a difference as the hybrid is, you're already in a 40 gram shaft. Yep. You know, you're already in a high performance sort of product and everything, the, the grip, the shaft, the head is, is all catering for you. And one of the downsides, I mean, the Zexo line is incredible, but it's kind of a, a hit or miss. Like I said to you earlier on, if that head, that one shaft and that one grip fit, it's going to be great, yep. but if they don't, then that's your one chance kind of gone with it because it's not it's not changeable. So um, we'll see what it does. But let's baseline yours. Okay. Yeah, we'll and get a couple we'll, of yours. We'll dive into it. Nice. Nice little draw. Hmm. Yeah, similar. Nothing wrong with those, eh? When relying on some, some certainly some run with them, yep. certainly want to see that number, you know, back up and over to uh, 200, get that launch up around 13, 14. Ronnie's going to be, actually, I'm going to make, do you mind if I make a little tweak, just out of curiosity? Let's see if we can, on the hop, give you a little modification here. That's interesting. It yeah, really. Get up. Over two. Yeah, that's great. Atta boy, Ronnie. Love that. It's another example that those weights do work They're for valuable. the skeptics out there. Yeah, they that's... work instantly. Good. That, well, it just that offset that. Yeah. yeah, it's so much better. That one's going to help it a lot. Made that into a really serviceable shot. Mm -hmm. Good. All okay, right. Ronnie. Um, so. Obviously, the first thing you'll notice is, is a little longer uh, club, three quarters of an inch. So, you know, you, you, you'll notice that. I think the shaft being a little bit on the softer side, you, you'll probably notice a little bit more kick going on uh, when you swing these. So let's hit a few and get your initial thoughts. Curious if uh, the, the the longer sort of length is, is tough for Ronnie to, to kind of play catch up. It kind of seems like it's getting a little behind him. No, mm -hmm. it's not showing up a ton in path. The path seems okay. It's the face relationship. The face to is that kind of path. dragging to yep. it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, making his way back. But Squared that one up. So. Yeah, it was was a little bit kind of high in the toe of the driver. Ronnie robbed you a little bit of that ball speed from the good contact easy to see how uh, much less comfortable you are with this one. 
you're swinging it a bit slower, your ball speed is reacting a little bit slower, just that wouldn't be the one. Okay, okay. so let's go over to the, uh, the prime. Try the prime. But that's not right for Ronnie, but... There's, there's a ton of people who'll pick that up. Right. It's just for your timing, that's got a little bit too much, a right. little too much give on it. Yeah. Because he tends to be someone who draws the ball already. Yes. And I swap you. And correct me if I'm wrong, the thing I gleaned last year was the shaft, composition, the balance, that, that's all driving the timing and Def oh, uh, timing, face control. Timing so. is the, the key for that. Okay. What do you feel your biggest I, challenge is with this one? I feel, unlike the previous Zexio, that at impact the club is closing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of drooping or deflecting to the... It'll be doing all of those things, yeah. It's soft. I mean, it's very, uh, very soft again, a bit longer, Ronnie. So these are clubs that, if you have great timing, mm. you're, you know, you're not moving the club off plane too much. True. These are these are really good options, but if, if that if that doesn't sound like you and not something that you would normally be considered as being that type of player, probably probably stick to something a bit more conventional length, maybe a little more weight. It'd be tougher for you to time this one if you're yeah. struggling. Makes sense. Okay, that was one you got. Yep. You got a hold of that one. Okay, my benchmark for you, Ronnie, is always two hundred on the fly fell slightly short, short of our benchmark. Okay. Uh, I would be looking to see, uh, I mean, the, the, my thought was at the start, if Ronnie can swing at this at 90, 91, we can kind of maneuver him into a spot where he's hitting it quite good, this could be a weapon. Yeah, you could grab 10 yards or something. But the reality is we haven't gained any speed. Mm -hmm. We're very similar to the shorter, more in control, fitted driver. And we're mm. probably struggling to make a, a good argument for why Ronnie would change. Interesting. So the person does, you need to pick up head speed for this to make sense? It, the, the, the purpose of this is that you will swing it faster. It will be easier to swing because it's long, light, and, and a bit softer. It just makes things easier. That sounded really good. Really good You can definitely hit Country well. best. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Ian, surprising for a middle handicapper, I'm adjusting. That's one of the best good. It's good, good Ronnie, you're finding your timing. That's a really good swing. Two and out, three up. All right, Ronnie, give me, give me, give me the out the boot swing. Give me the long drive swing. <laughs> long drive, Ronnie. I don't think there's such a guy, but we'll, we'll try <laughs> we're about, to find him. We're about him. to meet him. Tell you what, 10 out of 10 for effort. Do that again, a couple more times. Yep. Okay, a little bit healy. Mm -hmm. Not bad though. Is there an argument to be made that that kind of club can help someone push a limit that they weren't able <laughs> to, to touch before? And, and the thing is, I expected to see that with it. But Ronnie hit the governor on his swing. He has to remove You it. put a governor on your swing when you start swinging these longer ones going, oh, this is different. I yeah. don't feel the timing and it's a bit longer. I'm not that comfortable, so I'm just going to back off a little mm. bit. Then you took the governor off it and then you went, poof, six huh. miles an hour more. Oh. Jeez, that's something oh, else. Come Connie. on, come on, come on, go. Oh, Connie. That's going to have to be a quick one. Has to be. Ooh. What? 95 miles an hour. <laughs> Ronnie. What? I don't think I've ever seen Who's this swing. guy? Four shots over huh? 94 miles an hour. So seriously, what, what's my learning in all this? What's Your learning is that you uh, sometimes need to, sometimes that you can lose control, but gain control. Mm. So you're, you're swinging what feels like out of control. You're not sure where it's going to go when you look up. But the reality is, is it a worse result? It's not. No, your dispersion pattern is very similar to when you were swinging slower. Ronnie. Jeez. Ronnie. The height of it is really nice too. It's great. Okay, up over our 200. So that was, 
little more open face, so we gained a bit of spin and it kind of stalled a little bit on us. Club head speed and ball speed are in a different. This is great. Carry Jeez, Ronnie. That's going forever. That. You ever hit this many drives over 130? Uh, sorry, 230? No, I don't think I've not another seen another 94 it. mile an hour swing. Okay, okay one last one, and then I'm gonna ask you to do the same swing with your driver and see if this is if this is Zexio or this is Ronnie. Can you keep the club SB yeah. up with the same amount of input? Okay. One more. Nice swing Ronnie, there, Ronnie. That's awesome. Great looking flight. Lots of carry. Oh yes, go. Out of boy. Well, 94. we're talking about governors, Ronnie. The governor is off. That's a lot of 94 mile an it's hour good. swings. I mean, you've you've really upped your uh, your average as as you went on there. Look at that, eh? Yeah, I mean, we we were kind of swinging low 80 or sorry, high 80s, and then all of a sudden you've you've added another six, seven miles an hour to that. Jeez. Okay, hey, Ronnie. Lovely. Little low in the head, but uh, let's see where the speed was at, if it was up over 90. Oh, yeah, so sub 90. just hear that in there. So we wouldn't worry so much about the distance, but let's watch the club head speed. How did that, did that feel as fast as your other ones? Or did you it feel like you- It felt like I was swinging a sledgehammer compared to the okay. Did it really? That's yeah. That's, that's a big contrast. So- uh, Noticeably different. Could wow. you make an argument that, that sort of, for some golfers who maybe, I don't know, physically are, are, are less mm -hmm. strong, physically less strong, later in the round would find an easier job with that Zexio? I was surprised how much more effort that took. Wow. And that was only... Yeah, it was still four still or five below slow. 90 though. Yeah. yeah. It was fast relative to your early ping shots, but it was actually quite a bit slower than... Good swing, Ron. I mean, you couldn't have made a better swing. Ron, yes. That might go in. That's excellent. Interesting. Yeah. It's the club, the shaft link and the, and the weight. It's, yeah, it is. Um, there's an argument going on here though that if we sort of matched up the length and, and kind of made everything else equal, the ping's doing really well to keep you in the game from a ball speed perspective, even though the club head speed is down. So, you know, the shorter, heavier feel is, is robbing you of a little bit of speed, but the ball speed off the ping is excellent. It's true, so it is a, it's an efficiency question. You would need, you kind of need both, don't you? Like if someone swung yeah. faster and had close to the same efficiency, yeah. then the real yardage jumps would, would come in there. The thing is with, for Ronnie right now is he's so accurate with this ping. I mean, I'm really loving well. that flight there. Lovely push so draw, nice. it's high, it's everything we've always wanted it to be, isn't it, Ronnie, that, that, that particular flight? Um, you know, if, if the launch was too high and this was three, four hundred less, It'd be a bomb. We're, we're in 240 range. So I, I don't think that it's doing a disservice to this mm -hmm. driver to say, you know, maybe it's not the best for Ronnie. Ronnie's a candidate for it. Yeah. He clearly could get more club head speed with less effort from it. That's great. Yeah. But that being said, it doesn't mean it's 100% great for him because he got great efficiency out of his ping. So mm -hmm. maybe there's a middle ground for him or he's maybe just not quite the golfer that benefits from it. He's close, but not quite. Definitely. So key messages here, let go of the governor and the ball will stay in play. I think so, yeah, for, for some, wow. you know, golfers that are feeling like they need a little bit of speed, you know, sometimes look within yourself to, to let it go a little bit. Okay. You know, it doesn't often uh, make things worse. Okay. I will give it a go. Good. Well, I mean, this is interesting. It's this very is, interesting. From a speed perspective, if we just quickly touch back on that, if we purely go off of, of club speed. Yeah. The averages tell us there's, a, there's something going on here. Now, for someone who, who finds that right strike point, that right timing yes. with these drivers, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot out of that. There's no question. I think there's obviously some limitations. Mm -hmm. It's not designed to be adjustable and things like this. Right. Let's be fair. Yeah. But the club head speed, if that's the thing that you're really missing. And there's, there's gonna be people, like Ronnie you know, works on his fitness quite a bit. I think there's people that have physical mm -hmm. limitations yeah. where this lighter driver will just, it will be way easier. I don't know that everyone can swing that club 90 miles an hour. And, and there are still a lot of people who don't want the complications of weights and Fair, they just wanna be able to just go with this. Like Ronnie, you're looking for every edge you can get. 
a lot of people are kind of still in the opposite camp. They're like, yeah, yeah. I don't want those weights. I don't want, you know, just let me, let me be easy to hit. Let me just get it out there. And, True. you know, if there's a little bit to be gained in, in speed from, from this sort of stuff, uh, you know, they're probably going to jump on that. Definitely. I think intriguing and more to be seen with it. Um, Do you know who I'm really interested to have test this as well when, when we get around is Lindsay. Yeah, see because, she... you know, Lindsay's someone that I think of, like, you know, if I think of somebody with a swing like that and we give her longer, lighter, I'll be very curious what she does with that because, you know, she's so repeatable. And it's true. She's I think very that'll neutral. be an interesting one. What do, you, do you think that would be well, I, fair? I, I would challenge you. Can you think of anybody who hits a sweet spot as on a regular basis like her? She hit nails it every time, doesn't she? She does. Yeah, yeah it's no, a perfect I've, example of it. I've, I've messaged her and she's, she's ready to, to come in and do Good. this with us in the next few weeks. She, she so. would be an outstanding tester yeah. for sure. So we'll follow up. I think more club head speed feasible. Let's leave it at that for today. You can definitely Correct. get some more speed out of this yep. and let's, let's move on and do some more testing with it and see what we find. More to, more to sort of dig into with it. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Good, excellent. All right, Ronnie, thank you. Good job, Ronnie. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to fi figure out ways to unlock performance for you guys that, that maybe you didn't think was even out there. Uh, club head speed being one of the major things that are attributed to lower handicappers is, is speed. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, Matty, you know, the, the, the lower the handicapper, the further the player hits it. That's yeah, just, it's usually the case. It's usually a, a yep. very um, you know, similar comparison. So hopefully you guys see ways in which you can gain some speed here. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.